myself first. Then I love my friends and family. Because it reminds I love my private property. Yeah? We interrupt for this video. Just let him at the door. So that my mama, mama is not on camera. Video. Now, as I was saying, I don't know those who love me. Yeah, I would want, I would want the America to succeed, but only because, you know, only because if America is not powerful and successful. That present that that would present a threat to my peace of mind, my private property, my friends, my family, my little world. That's why I would want America to succeed, because America would be an extension of myself. And fuck China. It was my country. I want as long as I was happy, I want everybody else to be happy. Amen. But if everything was not perfect, if, I, if everything was perfect, or it's good enough, there's no such thing as perfection. But if everything was good enough, I was good. It's close enough to perfect. I'm looking for things perfection. But if everything was good enough, I was good looking. I had what I wanted. I had my own cozy little home. My own little fucking kingdom. Sure, it doesn't last forever. You can't live forever. Duh, dumbass. The point is, when you die, to die well. To die successful. To, lie, to be able to say, man, I lived. That's the point of fucking living. And when you die, say, man, does the party have to end now? Because I was having fun. That's the point. That's the point of yes, yes. Love is an essential. Loving others, but you can't love others if you don't love yourself first. Your love for others springs out of your love for yourself. Why? Why do you think the mother loves the, her newborn baby more than anything? Because not only isn't it is it that baby an extension of herself. You let that mother find out that that baby was right, not really hers, she'll stop loving. She won't love it as much. Because it's not, it, won't, it won't be hers. Not only that, but through that baby, the mother becomes larger, larger than herself and loving someone else. So you love others so that you, you can become larger than yourself. But it all boils down, you, you want to become larger than yourself and love others. Like I said, you can't love others if you don't love yourself. You can't even love God if you don't love yourself. Because you love God because He will give you eternal life. He will make you into the person you should be. My own happiness. If I had that, I would not need to steal. I would not. Unless, however, there was an imminent threat to my happiness. And I had to steal to maintain my happiness, or I had to steal to keep my happiness from being diminished. Other than that, I wouldn't want to steal. No, I, I don't. I don't. I understand how it feels to have stuff stolen from me. But if I stole, I'd rather steal, steal from big business. They can ha take it, and they, they'll never miss it. Now, if somebody got my nerves, now if somebody. Uh, cross my path. I anyone who is an imminent threat to my happiness. If there is no God, I'd remove, I'd, I'd remove the threat. If I had to fucking kill the person to do so, if I could do it and get the way with it, I would. I deal with him. And I don't do it. I'll steal my medicine. I'll steal whatever I can steal. I've done that before, stolen my stuff, and I do believe in God. Just think, just think how bad I would be if I didn't believe in God. Save money, and I'm not beyond stealing today to save.
millions until I get money for the hair transplants. Look, if I had to, I believe in Jesus. I'd sell drugs to get the money. To get them, to get out of this wretched, to get the money so I can get my hair transplants. I would. That's just the way it is. It is what it is. Deal with it. I was still what I needed. As much as I what I needed. Even what I wanted. To save my money for what I really wanted. My pleasures. My joy. My happiness. Hair transplant. My, my fucking hair transplant and cosmetic surgery. No hell. And all I have to worry about is the day I die. The terror of dying and lights out game over. But there's a need in me for Jesus too. So I'm kind of been an uh, unhappy predicament. But I need Jesus. I need Jesus. I need, I'm, I'm willing to... 